Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, we can we can tackle some of those things. Um, let me see. We have twelve people. I'm going to give it just another minute or two because, again, quite a few people were enrolled. I want to give people time. Hi, Josh. How are you? I'm doing great. Are you the one who quick clicked the record button? I think it's just recording still from when I was doing my presentation this morning. So okay. I can unclick it if you want to do it, or I can just, you know, at the end, take the things apart and then they'll just have the three videos. So whatever. Yeah, that's fine. That's All fine. Right. Okay, great. Okay, well, I do have a lot of material, so I don't really want to wait too much longer here. So just a few housekeeping items. I do not have a room monitor here, and I'm going to be sharing my screen. So if you have a question, I'm going to ask that you just ask it out loud. I may say we're going to cover that later, but if I feel like it's something I need to address, then I will go ahead and answer it then. Other than that, I ask that you stay on mute to minimize background noise. And Josh is recording the session, so I guess it'll go on the District 8 website. It'll be on the, U the YouTube page once Tom has time to put them up there. Okay, okay, great. Uh, my name is Debbie Young. I have been a Toastmaster for six years. About half that time, I have served as a VPE and so I feel pretty familiar with Basecamp and the material I'm covering today. I've also done some additional research in order to tackle this content. And let me go ahead and share my screen here. Let's see. Great, can everybody see my PowerPoint? Yes. Oh, interesting. The title of the slide disappeared. That's very interesting. So the title of this course is actually Preparing for Basecamp Changes Coming Soon. So have any of you heard about those changes that are coming to Basecamp? No, I haven't. Okay, so Toastmasters did send an email out about that, but I'm going to cover a few of those items here of the changes to expect. Now, somebody asked early on, oh, there's the title. Somebody asked early on, what is Basecamp? Basecamp is where members log in to access their education modules or their pathway that they're working on. So every member has a base camp if they are enrolled in Pathways. So the changes that are coming is that there's going to be a new improved base camp user experience. After the update, at some future point in time, there will also be a mobile app. There will now be a single step approval process, which I'll talk about in a little bit. They are going to make Basecamp accessible for members who are visually impaired. You're going to have the ability to share your accomplishments across uh, various social media platforms. There's going to be a change to the path offering, and there's going to be some new educational content, which they are going to call explorations. And those explorations are going to be mini modules that are made up of three projects. I think initially there will just be two of those. So let's talk about the path offering changes first of all. Currently, when you sign up for Pathways, you have a choice of 11 paths. After the update comes, you will only have a choice of six. If you are enrolled, in one of the five paths that are going away, you will still be able to do those paths, even if you haven't started them yet. If you've purchased them and they are in your base camp, you can still do them after the update. But after the update, you will no longer be able to purchase those five. Now, my understanding is the five that are going away 
when the update takes place, those five, if you already have them, will not be in the newer education interface, but you'll still be able to access them just like you do now and work through them. So now this single step approval process is a fact that a lot of base camp managers are going to be excited about. And the reason is currently, if a member finishes a level in base camp and they mark it complete, a base camp manager has to go in and they have to approve the project in base camp. And then they have to log into Club Central and they basically have to do the same thing again. So they have to also mark it complete in Club Central and submit it so that the club gets credit for earning that award. And needless to say, along the way, things can kind of get off kilter and it just is an extra step. So this course is mainly going to focus on how to make sure you're ready for this update because there are situations in, like I said, where those two items can get off kilter. So what we're going to talk about here is how to reconcile your base camp and Club Central. Now, if you're a regular member and you're not a base camp manager, this is still extremely relevant to you. And you're also going to learn a lot of things about how to navigate around Club Central, I'm sorry, base camp, and also how to see your education awards. So again, we're going to focus on how to make base camp and Club Central or how to check to see if they are in balance with one another. And the items that you want to reconcile are your path completions. So if you have level one completed in base camp, but level one hasn't been completed in Club Central, we're concerned about that. Also, we're gonna reconcile the Pathways Mentor Program. That is another education module that you can earn credit on, but it needs to be show complete or show consistent with your status in Base Camp and Club Central. And the third item we want to reconcile, which not as many people will have, but it is the Distinguished Toastmaster Project. So let's get started with how an individual would reconcile their base camp and Club Central. And again, any member can do this who is enrolled in Pathways. So step one, you want to find what base camp awards you have earned. And you can do that by logging into your home, clicking go to base camp, and paths in learning. If you're enrolled in more than one club, it doesn't matter which club you choose because your pathways progress will be the same in both. So once you get to paths and learning, the first thing it will default to are any active paths and other projects that you have going on and the paths will show at the top. So I can notice in this screenshot, the member is enrolled in effective coaching, motivational strategies, and the Pathways Mentor Program. If you click open curriculum, I'm sure you're used to seeing this if you work through Basecamp, you'll get this little screen where it'll show you what percentage you're done with the path. What you want to look at is which levels are checkmarked. If a level is checkmarked, that means that a base camp manager has approved that level. So this person has finished 
three levels of motivational strategies. So all three of those levels should also show as being awarded in Club Central, okay? After you look at the status of each path to see what is complete, then you can change your filter to complete, and this will show any paths that are 100% done. This means all five levels should show complete in Club Central. Okay, so this again is where we find our base camp awards. And this does, I'll stop right here. Does everybody know what I'm talking about? Has everybody been here in base camp? And if not, if you can unmute yourself and let me know. I have never seen this part. <laughs> Okay. So, how long have wonderful. you been? How long have you been a Toastmaster, Tracy? Unfortunately, I'm embarrassed. Don't ask that question. Can we? <laughs> it's been a long, long enough that I should know. I really, okay. I'm embarrassed, but I'm not okay. embarrassed enough that I know that I need to know and I okay. want to grow. So. Okay. Okay. Well, I am um, familiar with it. <laughs> I am gonna go ahead and um, jump to oops, to show you a few more things in slides and then we're going to go live into the system and i'm going to show you where to click to look okay so after you know what Thank you've you earned in, sure after you know what you've earned in base camp this is where we're going to check go into club central and again you're not really going into club central but you can see what's been awarded through club central so you're going to go back to your home page, you're going to pick the achievement board and then education awards. And when you open education awards, it's going to show you a list of what you have earned. So this is mine and um, I'm showing you a screenshot, a partial screenshot. I've earned a few more things. But it will show you older things if you've been a Toastmaster for a while and you were in the previous education program. And you may have to flip through a couple pages to see everything, but this will show you everything that's been approved for you in Club Central. Okay, I am going to pause that here and we are going to go live into my account. So I'm going to go to my home. And if you are enrolled in a path, you should be able to go to base camp. Now, if you don't have a base camp or you can't click your base camp, that might be indicating that you're not enrolled in pathways. And I strongly encourage you to get enrolled and start participating in the education program. So I'm going to go to base camp. And if you're in more than one club, again, it doesn't matter which one you log into, they should match. And I'm going to go to paths and learning. And again, Ways mentor program, which is not a path, but it's a separate learning program. And I'm also enrolled in the Distinguished Toastmaster Project, okay? And again, if I click to open a curriculum, this is where I'll see what I have finished. So for those of you who are not a base camp manager, this is where you get to your path to do your projects. So for example, level one, this is where I get to my icebreaker project. This is where, you know, you get to each individual project in base camp. Is, are most of you familiar with this? Does this look familiar? Besides Tracy, who might yes. have been there. Yes, it does. <laughs> okay, I, good. I have seen this. Good. This part I've seen, I don't know, maybe it's just feeling, okay. Yeah, okay, so, <laughs> so basically that screenshot, I just left off the individual projects and I just showed you this portion here. So this shows for me in Presentation Mastery that I have finished three levels. Three levels have been approved by a base camp manager, okay? 
And again, you can just keep going back to, you know, and if you're only enrolled in one path, that's great. You only have one to look at. Um, I've just been a Toastmaster for a while, so I have a couple that I'm working on. So I could open each one to see where I'm at. And then where this filter says active right here, I can click completed. And this will show me anything I've completed. And I've completed one path, and that's dynamic leadership. Now, if you're a base camp manager, or if you're going to be involved in helping to make sure your club's accounts are all matching or reconciled, you're going to need a way to track this. And what I have done is created an Excel spreadsheet that you can track this for all your members. And at the end of the session, I will post this in chat and you can download it if you would like to have it. Um, I have a blank one for you that's not filled in. So I just went ahead and filled this out for myself. And so the E indicates if I am enrolled and then L1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 indicates if I have completed those levels. So you would need some mechanisms such as this spreadsheet where you can um, record where each of your members is in their paths. And then you'll use this tool to then go into what you have completed in Club Central. But again, we're still working at the individual level, so I just recorded this for myself. And now we are going to go back. Whoops, back to my home. And I'm going to look to see what has been submitted in Club Central for me. So I'm going to go to my achievement board and I'm going to go to education awards. So here's the list of all the things that I've accomplished. Now, competent communicator, competent leader, that's old. But one thing I want to draw your attention to, for presentation mastery, it's only showing that I finished level one and level two. So in Basecamp, somebody had approved three levels for me, but here it's only showing two levels have been awarded in Club Central for me. So now we're going to talk about how to fix things that don't match. So let me jump back to my PowerPoint. Oops. Here we go. And oops. Yep but not Club Central, then it should be really straightforward. You would just ask your vice president of education or a base camp manager in your club to submit it to Club Central so the club gets credit for it and also you. And then after they do that, you'll go back into that awards to make sure it's showing up. Then you have to decide, did I really do that project? And you should know if you've done it. Um, if you did do it, then you need to mark it approved in Basecamp. And if you haven't, if you've done that, then it may be just outstanding for the VPE to go ahead and approve it. But otherwise, you need to mark it um, completed and the vice president of education or another base camp manager can go ahead and approve it. And then the two systems will match. And we'll talk about later why this matching is so important. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about then is if you are a base camp manager or you know a club officer who's helping oversee this for your club, how you would tackle this for the members of your club. So step one is very similar. You're still going to log into Basecamp to check progress, but instead of logging into Basecamp as an individual, you're going to log in as a Basecamp manager. 
and you're going to look at the same things for as an individual for all the members of your club. And I'll demonstrate how to do this, okay? Then again, you can use that Excel spreadsheet if you like, or you can write it down by hand, what, what other ever system you wanna use to record what people have in Basecamp. Then once you do that, you will need to actually go into Club Central to see what has been awarded. So you don't have access to each person's individual awards. You can only see what has been awarded by your club through Club Central. So if you're a club officer, you can go to my home, Club Central, and then Administrative Reports, Past and Present Education Awards. Now these awards, award list is great but if you're in a large club or even an older club, you're going to see get a lot of stuff that you're going to have to kind of weed through. But it's still a very good resource to see what's been awarded. Now that's option one, and that's the option that Toastmasters International recommends. I am also going to show you another option. And when I say option, I think of it more at, not as either or, but as doing both, because this second option is going to show you some other things that you might not see in the administrative reports. So option two is still to go to Club Central, but to go to submitted submit education awards. If you're a base camp manager who submit word, awards for other members, this should look familiar. Now, when you go to submit awards, normally what you do, you select the member that you want to submit an award for, and then it gives you a drop down to select which award you want to record for the member. And again, it should have first been approved in Basecamp by you before you come here to submit it. But by looking at this, you can sur surmise a couple of things about this member. Looking at this, I can tell that this member is enrolled in the effective coaching path, but they haven't finished any levels. And that's because this list is showing me the next level available to award a member. And remember, you can only earn awards in order. So because effective coaching level one is the next one available, that means this person hasn't finished any levels. I can also determine that this person is enrolled in dynamic leadership and they have completed level one, two, and three. And that's because the next level available for um, completion or awarding is level four. And then finally, the person is also enrolled in visionary communication path, but has not finished anything. Now we are also seeing the Pathways Mentor Program. This will show for any member who has finished two levels in any path because they are eligible to enroll in this. But just because it's showing here doesn't mean they're actually enrolled. And Toastmasters International um, acknowledges that this is a flaw in the program. And it is very easy to accidentally submit an award for this, but the member has never earned it. And again, we'll talk about what to do for that. So now that we've gone through that, I am going to once again pull up my account and we're going to take a look um, how a base camp manager again would do this. So I'm going to go to base camp. Now for those of you who are base camp managers, which would be the vice president of education, the president and the secretary you will have a second um, a second tile down here that says base camp manager and this is how you can see other members progress 
So once you get into Basecamp, the pending request is where you generally see approvals that are outstanding. But what we're going to do, we're going to go to Paths and Learning. And once I get here, I have this button called Team View. And I can pull up any member in my club and I can see where they are at in Pathways. So I am going to go to my uh, friend Victor Madison. He's in my club. And I can see Victor isn't currently enrolled in dynamic leadership, effective coaching, and visionary communications. I can click the open curriculum and I can see for him that he has finished three levels there. Then I can go and look at his effective coaching path. He has not finished any levels there. So again, you're going to click through all these for each of your members to see what they have finished. Don't forget to check to see if they have any completed paths. Currently, Victor hasn't finished any paths yet. After you record this, and again, you could use this Excel spreadsheet and check this to record, you know, what Victor has completed or your club members. And then after you get that all filled out, you are going to go back to Club Central, and we are going to check the two different areas I just reviewed in Club Central. Go to my home. Club Central. If you are a club officer, you have access to Club Central. So any club officer can get to Club Central. And I'm going to go for my South County Toastmaster Club. And any club officer can access these administrative reports. So even if you're the treasurer of your club, you should still be able to come to this administrative reports and you should be able to run the past and present education awards for your members. Okay, so my club has been around for about uh, 44 years and so we have a lot of awards here. We have a bigger club. A lot of members have earned things. You can export it to Excel. You would need to take out the old stuff that doesn't apply it's also going to show members who are no longer in your club, so keep that in mind. Now, I want to jump ahead to something. Here. I want to show you something that I noticed when I came here and found myself. Notice it is showing, where is it? Um, it's showing that I finished the Distinguished Toastmaster project. It did not show in my personal award list, but it is showing here in Club Central. Now I can tell you this is a mistake. I have not completed this project and some previous Vice President of Education mistakenly marked it complete. So we're going to talk about how to get that cleaned up. Again, it was something that it was awarded in Club Central, but I had never even marked it completed in uh, Basecamp personally. So this is one area. This was the option one that we went through. And then the option two or the other area that I would also check is the Submit Education Awards. Now, I don't believe you can click this and get into it unless you're a base camp manager. So again, president, vice president of education or secretary. But you will click this. You will pick the member. So I'll pick Victor Madison. Find Victor. Here he is. And it is showing me that, again, he's enrolled in effective coaching, but he hasn't finished any levels yet. He's enrolled in dynamic leadership. He's finished three levels because number four is the next one for approval. And he's enrolled in visionary communications. He may or may not be enrolled in pathways mentoring. He was not. So again, I can use this information to help reconcile. 
this does not show anything that has been completed because if it's completed, all five levels have been marked completed and you won't see it listed. So why would this be helpful? If you have a member who transfers to your club from a, another club and it's showing in Basecamp that they have finished three levels of a path, but it's still showing that level one is the next one to approve. That means the previous club never approved those three levels in Club Central, and that will need to get approved so the two match. So this is a tip for long-term Toastmasters who have some experience with this. My recommendation is anytime a new member joins your club, I would immediately reconcile the two environments. So now let's talk about what happens when these two environments don't match. And let me go here. So it's the exact same advice that we discussed for individuals for Basecamp managers. If the award is in Basecamp, but not Club Central, then you need to submit the award in Club Central so the two match. If the award is in Club Central, but it's not in Basecamp, such as my Distinguished Toastmaster project, then, and I know I didn't complete it, I am going to need to send an email to Toastmasters International and tell them I did not finish this. Whoops. And they are going to need to deduct that from Club Central to make things match. Does that make sense? Does anybody have any questions about any of this information so far? This is really good. I just hope that I can um, have access to it to review it another time because I would love to share all of this with well, my executive committee and my members. Sure, I will give, I will be putting a copy of the PowerPoint and also the uh, template of the Excel spreadsheet if you would like that in chat at the end of this session so that you can take them with you. And then again, the recording, um, it sounds like might hit the District 8 YouTube channel. Okay, so a couple of things I want to go through uh, some more information. Um, I have some additional slides. Now, normally I am not a girl who likes slides with a lot of text on them, and I know they can detract from the presenter, but I opted to go ahead and put all this information on slides because I think it's critical to this process. So that's my, my warning. So number one, what some of you might be thinking is, oh no, I have found awards that we should not have submitted in Club Central. How is this going to impact our Distinguished Club program and the points that we've earned? So a couple of things that I've learned from Toastmasters International, the award will be deducted from the club that approved it erroneously. Um, so if you have a member come from another club and the other club submitted things that shouldn't have been submitted, you let, you let Toastmasters International know they deduct it from the other club, not your club if you weren't the ones to approve it. Number two, if the award was incorrectly submitted in a previous year, a previous program year, so Toastmaster program years are July 1 through June 30, then that will not impact your club, okay? They are not going to go back and strip away points from a program year that's closed out. So they just want it to match. They want it right. And if you are in Distinguished Club program and, and taking that away would have hurt you, that's not going to impact you at all. The only thing that would impact you is if it's the current year they will deduct that education award, but you still have till the end of June to, you know, earn points. Is that clear to anybody? Does anyone have any questions about that? Okay. 
some other information. Let's talk about levels completed out of sequence. I don't know how many of you are aware of this, uh, but this is kind of an ongoing concern I've seen in my club. Uh, so the scenario is a member is enrolled in Presentation Mastery Path. They finished level two, but they still haven't finished level one. And they have submitted, they have marked level two complete, and it's sitting in pending for approval. And the question is, should I go ahead and approve that for the member, knowing that I can't award them level two because they haven't earned level one yet? Toastmaster Inter Toastmasters International recommends that you should approve that. And they that that is how they believe is best practice. And at when we switch to the new program, you know, everything should work out okay. In the meantime, if that person finishes level one and you go to Club Central, you'll have to remember to mark both level one and level two complete so the two environments match. Okay. Some other information I'd like to go over with you is what I recommend as next steps in this process now that you've attended this education program. So number one, I would communicate to the members of your club that if they are behind on marking When that deadline comes, then the base camp managers of your club need to go in, approve all pending awards, and make sure anything they approve, they also submit in Club Central. And then at that point, you need to decide on your reconciliation strategy for your club. And I'm going to give you three strategies. Number one, you could ask each member to reconcile their own account. Um, that may be good if you have experienced Toastmasters. If you have newer Toastmasters, that might be a little bit of a challenge, but that's one option. The second option is for base camp managers to work one-on-one -on -one with individuals going through the individual reconciliation. And then the third option is to do the club level reconciliation. My suggestion would be to get all of this done as soon as possible. And you're wondering, well, what is the time frame to get that done? This is the information that we have been given about this update to Basecamp. The update will happen in the first half of this year. So that would seem to indicate it would be done by June 30. Toastmasters International will give us 30 days notice when that update is coming. So that 30 days, you want to make sure you complete the reconciliation for your club, and we'll talk about why. After that 30 day notice, and they're ready to start applying the update, there will be a 30 day blackout from Basecamp. That means for 30 days, no one will be able to get into Basecamp. So you want to make sure you communicate that to all the members of your club. That's important because if they're currently working on projects, they may want to download the PDFs for those projects. Or if they just finished a level, they want to make sure they get it marked complete, that it gets the base camp manager approves it and it gets submitted in Club Central. But 30 days is a long time to not be able to get into base camp. Then during that 30 days when they're doing the update, they will also be going in to see, did somebody mark something in approved in Basecamp, but it's not marked in Club Central? Toastmasters International will automatically submit it to Club Central. Now, that could be a good thing, but if you're a member of one or for two or more clubs, you don't get to pick which club gets that award. It will just, they'll just pick one and they'll award it. Additionally, they were not sure what would happen 
for the awards that were already submitted to Club Central but not completed in base camp. So they're still trying to figure it out themselves. They're hoping that you and your club will fix these problems. After the update, according to TI, you will no longer be able to hold awards to decide which club you want to award them to or which program year you want them to be credited. When they get marked approved, they're going to be immediately submitted to Club Central and it's going to go to the club that marked it approved. Additionally, one other piece of information that doesn't affect um, award earnings is does anybody use the document section of Basecamp to to mark um, to mark items complete or, or to store documents? And I'm sorry, I skipped this. Does anybody use the document section to store your documents? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Linda is saying yes, but she's no. muted. Okay, okay. Um, let me just show that real quick. So if you go to your home, so when Basecamp first came out, um, Toastmasters International thought it would be great to give you a place to store files such as maybe your written evaluations or maybe the PowerPoints that you had from your presentation so they gave you these files that you could put the upload things in and so i have some things in here they're not guaranteeing that that information is going to be available after the update so i'm telling you this now if you have anything you may want to open it and download it because it may be gone after this update okay are they, are they still going to have that possibility after the up, update that you can upload documents? I don't know. I really don't know. And when I asked about things about the update, they don't have any information to give out. Um, it's really a nice thing to have because it's all, everything's in one place. Yep, exactly, exactly, mm -hmm. yep. Hey Debbie, Paula has yeah. a question when like, what is the date that Basecamp will start to be unavailable? Again, we don't know. We've been to, the, the parameters we've been given is that the update will should be done by June 30. We will be given 30 days notice. And after that 30 days, then that's when the 30 day blackout period will start. But there's no set dates. So. And that I'm glad you asked that because my recommendation is if your club is trying hard to um, achieve certain points in the Distinguished Club program, you need to get your awards in early. And so I would, you know, take that into consideration that there's going to be 30 days you're not going to have access to base camp now hopefully they wouldn't do it june 1st to june 30th when everybody's trying to get everything in by the end of the year but we don't know they they do not they have not given out any dates so i apologize can you repeat the blackout period and why and what sure. i'm totally yeah so toastmasters international will announce you have 30 days to access base camp and then there will be an, a, a blackout period. So they'll give us 30 days notice. So let's say it was March 1st, then that means probably April 1st to April 30th, you would not be able to access base camp at all, not as an individual, not as a base camp manager. But again, we don't know the date. We just know that they're going to give us 30 days notice and then there will be a 30 day blackout period. But our members can still give speeches. They can still give speeches. They'll have to keep track of what they finished. And when the blackout period is done, then they'll have to go in and mark those complete. So it might be a good idea to actually go in, you know, look ahead, figure out what you want to do download your evaluation resources because the evaluation resources are in base camp and if you can't get into base camp you can't get to the evaluation resources so if we do have uh, new people join 
Mm -hmm. and they have to wait until the blackout is over before they get their icebreaker. So they wouldn't really have to wait. Uh, you can access information about the icebreaker um, once you become a Toastmaster. Where is that? Um, I believe if you go to Paths Pathways Education Program, let's see, Learning Hub. Um, there is a place where you can uh, get information on the icebreaker. Um, yeah, well, I, I can look. Yeah, there is a place where you can review the icebreaker project and the evaluation resource. So you can definitely do that. So the member, you can give them the event. You know, because it doesn't matter which path they choose, they're going to start with the icebreaker. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know I covered a lot of information and it's kind of overwhelming, but um, it's to your advantage if you take care of these items before the blackout and then just leave it up to TI to figure out how they're going to submit all this stuff for your members. Any other questions? If anybody um, is a newer Toastmaster and has more specific questions, if you want to stick around, I'd be happy to um, pull up my base camp and we can look at things in a little more detail or whatever. Oh, yeah, I promised I would put those items in chat too. Let me add those documents. Yes. I have a question. I wanted to know um, how do you become a base camp manager? Who has you know the ability to do that? Is that something that the club itself elects people to have access, or does it come with a specific position? And also, could you repeat the information where you said we should go in and download our awards and documents? And um, is that what you were just speaking about? Um, when the update comes. Is this something that we should do all the time or how often should we do that? Well, I think once you get the, once the notice comes out that in 30 days the blackout's going to occur, then you can be the judge of what do I need to download so that I can be um, productive in the in the 30 days during the blackout period. So if you know the blackout is going to happen, you, they let you know February 1st, the blackout is going to be in the month of March, then you can say, well, I'm in level two and I'm going to want to do my communication style speech. So you can go in and you can actually download the project. So I can show you that real quick here. And I understand if you have to go, I know this is the end of the session, but um, yeah, let me go ahead and share my screen real quick. And but essentially, it's not saying that we have a whole new system that we're going to and we need to download and document everything. It's That's not what I heard you say. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah. Once, once the blackout is over and they've applied the update, you'll still have access to the same education program that you were in, um, but it'll be like a different user interface. It'll look a little different. It'll work a little different. It's supposed to be more user friendly. Does that help? Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> it quenched my worries there. Okay. Uh, Cheryl, yes, I can email you those two documents. Hey, Debbie, I was thinking maybe you could send those documents over to Tom and have him put those on the District 8 website, and then sure. they'll be able to be downloaded by everybody real easy. Yeah, sure. Sure. Let me jump. an awesome tutorial on this also so i would say 
yeah. first li look at the tutorial because it walks you through, you know, al almost step by step. Yeah. On the last slide, which I really didn't talk about. Nickel's there. <laughs> um, That's my club member. <laughs> on the last slide that I um, put in the packet, there are um, links to some some uh, web pages on the TI website, and there are some videos, but the individual video is not very good at all. Um, it talks more about completing projects than completing levels, and I don't think it's very helpful. Um, but the base camp manager video is it's okay. It's somewhat helpful. So, but, um, and then there's also a link to an FAQ that talks a little more about some of the things to expect um, with the change in the educational content, because there is some educational content change as well. Um, earlier, someone asked who, who, how does someone become a base manager? A base camp manager is the vice president of education, the president and the secretary of the club. And if your club doesn't have one of those roles, then you might only have two base camp managers or one. Well, yeah, you could just have one base camp manager. No, you have to have a secretary and a president though. So you should have two base camp managers. Hi, Herman. Okay. <clears throat> Again. Okay. Yeah, I think it has to be at least two because you can't approve your own right complete uh, yeah levels. Yeah, and I I know a club has to have a president, a secretary, a treasurer, and then one vice president. So even if you don't have a vice president oh, okay. of education, you would still have the president and the secretary who would be able to right. um, be base camp managers. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Debbie. Oh, no problem. Thank you for attending. I appreciate it. All right. Take care. Yeah, I'm just sticking around to answer any questions people might have. Thank you, Debbie. You're welcome. Tracy, did you have any other questions that I could tackle for you? Did you want to see where to download a project? I need to get that uh, the link. That's, that's what I meant to do. I'm, I'm multitasking, Debbie. I'm. Oh no, that's okay. <laughs> uh, so, um, did you get the the two documents? Because I put the a PDF of the PowerPoint in chat, and I also put that Excel template in chat. Um, I am trying to give them to myself now. I don't know. Or I'm if doing you, this from my cell phone. Oh, if you're on your phone, well, why don't you give me your email and I'll email it to you. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to chat Debbie. Okay, here to chat. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you taking that extra step. That's oh, presentation sure. was really informative. Sure. Okay. Boom. Uh, awesome sauce. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I don't know if I if I missed anything else. I don't know if I missed anything else in the in the chat or anything. Um. No. Okay. Awesome sauce. Thank you. Bye. Good. Have a good one. Bye. So we're going back to the main room, right? Yeah, just click leave room. Leave room. I knew that. I was just testing you. <laughs> <laughs>